Hello, <laughs> I'm April Fridges. I'm an artist, a mom, a professor, based out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and currently I have a show on exhibition at Silver Eye Center for Photography titled In Absolute Space. My goals for the show was to really point out some of those key components of photography that we tend to um, pigeonhole the medium into. Let's say photography we always state is flat and it's rectangular, it's dependent on a wall, um, it's static, meaning that the image doesn't change. Um, with this work, I feel as though I've pushed through a lot of those boundaries so that viewers could really observe those nuances and see other opportunities for the medium to exist outside of maybe those preconceived notions of what they might have come into the gallery with. People have said about my work that I really didn't notice was at the very beginning when I started sculpting my the black and white gelatin work that it looked like metal and they would reference John Chamberlain's work which I thought was really interesting. John Chamberlain um, you know, he, he basically cuts up metal from automobiles and like, and then turns them in these like beautiful giant sculptures and they're highly reflective. And I, it's funny how like people reference that and I, I always saw the reference to it, but I didn't see at the time that I would too be working in metal. It reveals a lot about the ways in which we come up to a photograph and we think we're looking at something and then we feel as though we're looking at something else. And a lot of people like to touch my work. They love to touch it because, um, they think it's metal and they and it's very it has that sort of tactile draw to it so that we do have little objects at the front of desks that people can touch just so that um, we can try to avoid fingerprints if possible when when i was at the university of akron i had a really great mentor penny rakoff and she taught me the technical uh, color dark room, black and white dark room but she also pushed experimentation and when i wanted to go above and beyond or go a little further with something, she would always encourage it. When I, when I start developing certain bodies of work, I go back to other bodies of work and I integrate a lot of the influence of sculpture. Like when I moved toward metal, for example, um, the metal was really hard and in a sense that like it's rigid and photo paper is like really soft. So I had realized that like a lot of my sculptures prior to working in an absolute space, the, the tin types, that all of my sculptures were kind of soft, like paper. And then when I started integrating the metal and I started uh, utilizing um, sheet metal machinery, slip rolls, uh, brakes to, to form the metal, that I started utilizing my, my mock-ups metal you know you, you never you're never gonna run a tin type through a machine right you're gonna you're gonna practice first with some junk metal but those metal pieces those scraps ended up becoming the um, structures that I was forming the color darkroom sculptures off of after that so like the green piece that's with magenta and gold that's kind of coming out it's got a hard edge just like the metal and then it kind of I kept that sort of soft curl at the very end at the very tip to kind of relate back to the the, the paper so there's a sort of hybridization that's happening or or this relationship building at least between these hard surface metal these hard photographic surfaces and these soft photographic surfaces um, the very last piece in the show as well you can see it's um, it's a bit small it's a small tin type and then there's a photographic print that's kind of like coming out and it's attached to it and I've now learned how to mount photo paper my, on my own onto metal so now my hope is to start pulling those off the wall and make them more integrated almost almost like they're one piece um, the paper the tin type and in a three-dimensional space where you could move around and it's not dependent on a wall so I would say that's probably my next direction you can find me on my website, aprilfridges.com. I also have an Instagram at afridges. It's F-R-I-G-E-S, no D. Yeah, studio visits. If you want to have a studio visit with me, if you live in Pittsburgh, you can come by my studio, which is on North Aiken Avenue. Um, I'm a professor at Point Park University. You can also find me there. <laughs>